The fields of agriculture, food, and natural resources offer many different career opportunities. 97% of U.S. farms are family-owned. Many of these farms are high-tech, multi-million dollar operations. They invest heavily in local economies and provide many, many jobs for the local people, including computer specialists, HR managers, equipment repair specialists, food processors, and veterinarians. In addition, interest in the protection, improvement, cultivation, and management of our natural resources provides careers in forestry, logging, and water and soil conservation. Farmers enjoy a hands-on career, providing an abundant, affordable, and safe food supply for the people of the world. They relish being outside, working with animals and soil. However, agriculture today is not the farming of 20 or even 10 years ago. It is a highly technologically advanced field that continues to grow and adapt to the needs of the world's population. Data analysis, with a herd of this size, milking 11, 1200 cows, we have probably 60 or 70 data points that are transmitted to us every time the cow goes into the parlor, from how many steps she took to the temperature of her milk, how much milk she gave, and it's all analyzed on graphs for us. We can take that data and, and manage these large-scale herds without actually having to go out and be with the cows 24 hours a day. Of course, not only do we use the computers to analyze the data, but all of our, our parlor is set up with computers. Every single unit has a computer attached to it. With the production of milk and the growth of crops such as corn, wheat, grapes, apples, and vegetables, comes the need to process those products into foods and beverages that people can buy. The dairy manufacturing and processing industry has a lot of opportunity. We're building a lot of new plants here in New York State and the region. We're looking for students that want a career uh, working with their hands, working with machines. We're looking for those that want to enter the high-tech field. These are modern dairy processing and manufacturing plants that require good knowledge of machineries, of, of computerized operations with uh, that type of equipment. We're really looking for those that want to work and support those manufacturing jobs that are really necessary and that also are very good paying and, and can help you with um, a long-term career. High-tech agricultural machinery requires technicians trained in the repair of not only computerized milking systems and food processing lines, but also tractors, harvesters, and other mechanized equipment. The field is not only the repairs and maintenance of the equipment that has been for years, but with the technology piece, it's far more advanced and in-depth than it was in the past. The difference that we have today in our repairs and maintenance side of our business is a lot of it is done through laptops, either on board on the tractors, popping diagnostic codes for us, or we have the ability to hook laptops up to all our equipment in order to help us diagnose the problem quicker. What they learn to do here is work on gas and diesel engines, gas and diesel machinery, powertrains, clutches, torque converters, transmissions, differentials, final drives, uh, a lot in hydraulics, a lot of hydraulic work, and a lot of welding. Students that enroll in a program like this are definitely students that enjoy working with their hands. They can make good money doing it. Farm livestock such as cows, horses, goats, and sheep need veterinarians to stay healthy and multiply their numbers. A veterinarian practice includes not just large and small animal veterinarians, but vet technicians, office workers, managers, and often breeders and genetic engineers. It's really great to work with farmers and animal owners. I love working with the animals, but I also love working with the people that own them. It's really rewarding when calls have a really good outcome and you feel like you've done the best thing for that animal and that person. And even when it's a bad outcome, as long as you've done a good job and taken care of the animal and its well-being, then you've accomplished what you need to. A lot of people like animals and they love to play with animals. But more importantly than that, do you, do you love the science behind animals and how we care for them and how their body works and how we can make them better if they're sick? So students who truly have that passion for science are going to be a great fit here in this program because it's, it's more than just playing with the animals. It's learning all about them.
Humans are constantly using our natural resources, including forests, wildlife, water, and soil. Resource managers are responsible for protecting the quality of these natural resources and managing them properly so that they can continue to be utilized by future generations for recreation, the creation of a wide variety of forest products, and to sustain life. Forestry, environmental conservation, and natural resources management include the duties and responsibilities of foresters, wildlife biologists, environmental conservation officers, forest rangers, and a variety of field technicians. Soil and water districts are one of the most interesting places to work. It's never boring. We do everything. We go from soil erosion to soil health to uh, water quality, all kinds of forestry things, what trees to plant, how to cut them, bugs, diseases, we do mapping. We also help with best management practices. Everything from planning to designing to surveying to construction. It's very rewarding that you can work with people to solve a natural resource problem. Education and training for many of these career fields are available at your local BOCES, technical center, or college. Visit mygpsforsuccess.com for more information. There you'll also find a list of the many careers available in agriculture, food and natural resources.